You're watching Terrier Vision. Inside Wofford Football with Coach Mike Ayers and the voice of the Terriers, Mark Hauser. Welcome into a rainy Gibbs Stadium where on this Saturday night the Wofford Terriers look to run their record to 2-0 and as they play host to the Lincoln University Lions out of Philadelphia, a Division II program. The Terriers opened their season last week rushing for over 400 yards in a 34-7 win over Gardner-Webb while Lincoln dropped their opener to rival Cheney University in a ball game in which the Lions turned the ball over eight times and committed better than 220 yards worth of penalties. Penalties. Can the Terriers make it 2-0 and o before they begin conference play next week? Let's find out. Here are your highlights. Wofford will open in the wing bone. Wide outs either side. No tight ends. Lincoln with four down linemen. Option run to the near side. There's the toss away. And Donovan Johnson will wheel away from a tackler at the 45. Spins ahead to the 50. To the Lincoln 49. A first down run of 11 yards. One man goes to the right. Single back alongside Cass out of the gun. With time to throw down the middle. Man wide open. Caught. Touchdown. Michael Harp. Michael Harp out of Spartanburg High School with the touchdown reception lined up at the tight end spot. Twins left single man right out of the gun. Forward handoff Flowers weaves his way through the pile. 30, 20, hurdles a man at the 15. Cam Flowers to the 10 to the 9. Cam Flowers just weaving his way through traffic. Cass out of the gun. Single back Breitenstein flanking him to his right. Man in motion far side Yeoman. Handoff Breitenstein breaks three tackles, makes it to the 5, keeps his feet, touchdown. They knew it was coming. They had a linebacker come up and fill the gap, and he still scored. Great job up front by the offensive line. Third touchdown run of the year for Eric Breitenstein. First and 10 at the Lion 40. Lincoln putting six on the line of scrimmage. Cass will throw, and Raymond Smith breaks a tackle. Far side, 35-30. He's to the 20. Cuts inside at the 10. He'll be knocked over at the seven-yard line. First and goal. Raymond Smith out of Dorman High School with the catch from a halfback spot. Rob Green out of Dorman High School splits to the right. Two receivers go to the left. Simmons the outside man. Cast from the gun again with two backs flanking behind him. And on the play action, he'll throw near side. That's caught by Ashley at the seven to the five. He's in. Touchdown. Jeff Ashley on the flat pass scores untouched. Second touchdown pass of the night for Brian Cass. Third and ten for Lincoln from the nine. Four receivers for Green. He'll throw to the near side. Caught for a first down. No. Oh, they're going to say incomplete ball. James Zotto, the free safety, laid into him and jarred the ball loose. It will be fourth down. And again, two backs alongside the quarterback out of the dun gun. Play action for Cass. Down the middle with the throw. Michael Harp again with the touchdown. Cass over the middle to Harp for a second score tonight for the Spartanburg native. All he does is score touchdowns. Terriers have a single man back deep to take the punt from Jasky, who has been busy tonight. Good snap. Here comes pressure. It's blocked. Ball loose at the near sideline. It will be picked up by a terrier. That's Tarek Odom. He'll be knocked out of bounds at the eight-yard line. Jeremy Holt was the guy who blocked it. First and goal, terriers. Breitenstein, lone back behind the quarterback. Brian Cass out of the gun. Man in motion near side. And it's a handoff to Cameron Flowers. Sweeping left. Makes his way in. Touchdown, terriers. Cameron Flowers. Weimer up under center. Michael Weimer out of Chapin High School. Six foot five inch, 215 pounder. And it's a handoff. And once again, it's Gay. Spins away from two tacklers at the 40. He's to the 50. Will Gay finally slung down by the jersey at the Lincoln 42 yard line. Terriers go out of the wing bone. Breitenstein, I believe, is the fullback. He is. Weimer dropping to throw. Puts it up to the near side. He's got Gay at the 25. Breaks a tackle as he sidesteps a defender the 20. And he'll be wrestled out of bounds into the near sideline at the 18-yard line. First and goal at the one. Weimer out of the gun with two backs. Two receivers right, one left. Green in motion left behind the formation. Pitch far corner. Breitenstein walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Terriers. First and ten, Terriers. They'll start at the 32-yard line. 
left to right, leading 42 to nothing. 3.24 to play in the quarter. Weimer fakes the dive. He's going to pitch near corner. All sorts of room down the sideline. 50, 40, 30. Raymond Smith cuts it inside. Finally tackled at the 26-yard line. Michael Comer will snap the football. Snap a little high, but Comer gets the spot down. Kick on the way, and Christian Reed drills it through. Seven and a half to play in the third quarter. Wofford with the ball up 48 to nothing. Out of the gun. Play action for Lawson. Now he's going to tuck it and run to the 20. Takes it to the 16. He is slung down there. Out of the gun with a wing right is the quarterback. Man in motion to the near side. Ford handoff. Brody Hinkst with room. Takes it to the 10. First down run to the 5. He'll tumble down at the 3. First and goal Terriers. Again, Lincoln with two down linemen defensively. They put three on the line of scrimmage. Hinks the fullback, a wing to the right, man in motion near side, handoff. Hinks right side, pile drives the defender at the two, at the one, he got in. Touchdown, Brody Hinks. Touchdown, Terriers. Brody. Cook out of the gun with five receivers. Here comes the blitz, his pass is intercepted here at the near side, picked off at the 45-yard line. Terriers back to the wing bone. Three down linemen for Lincoln on defense. Pitch near corner. And breaking a tackle is Smith. Slips a man at the 15, 10, 5, and he carries a defender into the end zone. Touchdown, Terriers. Raymond Smith. Yikes. Wow, that was an impressive run. Deep drop by Bam. the quarterback, and Cook is sacked. The ball is out, and I think Lincoln covers it back up. They do. It will be fourth down and long. Again, Lincoln with only two linemen down in a three-point stance, though they have four on the line of scrimmage. Handoff right up the middle. Big yards, 40, 50. Near sideline, 40. That's Will Gay to the 30. He's to the 20. He's to the 10. He's to the 5, and he'll be knocked out of bounds at the one-yard line. Or that is Nick Crocker. Pardon me, Nick Crocker with the big run. And two receivers to the right. One goes to the left as the Terriers spread him out. Shotgun snap. Inside handoff. And that is Crocker into the end zone behind center. Touchdown, Terriers. Nice to see the guy that got him down there get the score. Here comes pressure on the punter, but Jasky gets it away. Spiraling kick, taking it far hash. At the 40 is Harden, slanting left 50. Octavius Harden looks to make left corner at the 40. Slanting left toward the sideline, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown return on a punt for Octavius Harden. Out of the gun. Ball thrown deep down the near side, intercepted, taken at the 40, 50, 40 to the 30, and out of bounds for the Terriers on the pick goes Philemon Permis. First and goal from the four and a half, loss and under center again, the wing bone set for the Terriers, again, Hinkst up the middle, Brody into the end zone, touchdown. touchdown. Wofford with the victory tonight here at Gibbs Stadium. All right, Coach, I guess one of the big things out of tonight's game is you got to play a lot of people. You got to develop some depth. Talk about how your second, third liners look to you. I thought they really did well. Uh, this is a, a score that is uh, hinging on ridiculous, but uh, it, it's one of those things where we took the first group out after the first quarter and uh, started playing young guys. Uh, they went out and they executed. That, that's... It's, basically as simple as I can put it. Um, a lot of young kids played, a lot of true freshmen played, and, uh, and did some really good things. Uh, I think our halfbacks are uh, definitely, there's some explosive guys. Uh, I think we did some good things in the kicking game, uh, along with some poor things, but uh, we had a return for a touchdown, uh, we blocked a punt, again and uh, we tried our best to uh, play as many young guys as we could uh, a lot of those young guys quite frankly they got a taste of it and it's probably more than they thought they would get uh, some of the guys aren't quite in the shape that they need to be in to to play a 10 play or 15 play drive but uh, overall I, I thought it was a it was a great night for us uh, it's an opportunity, I think, for us to look at the film, evaluate where we are with really the whole football team because basically if they wasn't red-shirted, they got on the field. And we'll find out exactly uh, 
where we're at uh, this coming week with Western coming into town. A much improved football team, always athletic. Uh, they've got some transfers that have come in to help them, and, uh, and they're going to be a, a tough challenge for us. I think the, the league this year, it, if you look at all the scores tonight, uh, it's, it's going to be wild. It's just going to be a wild league. And uh, with the Citadel beating Georgia Southern, that, that was huge. Uh, we, I, I think uh, some other teams that, that were supposed to win didn't, and it's, uh, it's up for grabs. So uh, you got to be a great team every week. You got to be a football team, quite frankly, that, uh, that when you tee it up every Saturday from here on out, you better have a championship mentality because if you don't, you're coming up short. What's it like for you as a coach? You know, Lincoln comes down here, you're favored, the score starts to get bigger right. and bigger. How do you as a coach try not to embarrass an opponent but realize yeah. that your, your younger guys got to go in and play? Well, I, I think what we try to do is uh, just run the football. That, that, that moves the clock as fast as possible. The tough thing about their offense is they throw it all the time. And a lot of times they were three and out. Uh, that gave us more possessions, and, uh, and the, the thing kind of snowballed from there. Uh, we had uh, interceptions that were returned uh, that created great field position for us. Kicking game, we, we afforded ourselves an opportunity to get some great field position, and uh, it, it was just one of those games where uh, everything kind of went our way. And, uh, to their credit, they, they, they kept battling all the way to the end, but uh, it, it was just a situation where uh, we, we were just uh, a little bit uh, better in some areas and, uh, and we had a little bit more depth. Michael, a couple of touchdown receptions. Uh, talk about what it was like to play in a game like this where things come pretty easy. It's, it's just awesome being able to be out here with these guys uh, that work so hard every week, uh, day in and day out. Um, it came easy. I was wide open. I mean, anybody could have caught the passes, but uh, I, mean, I was just lucky enough to be out there and uh, be on the receiving end. You, uh, you have a knack for catching touchdown passes. Is this uh, new for you? Uh, well, in high school, I didn't have any uh, touchdown catches, but um, I primarily play, played tight end and receiver. Um, so we used a spread uh, offense in high school. Um, so switching to the triple option is a little different uh, for me going to from Spartanburg High School to Walford. All right, next week a conference game. What coach tell you about getting ready for that one in the locker room just now? Um, he said it's going to be difficult. Uh, we're we're coming out. We just beat Lincoln 82 to zero. Uh, this, this, they're an improved team. Um, Western Carolina's got new coaching staff. Uh, I know a couple guys out there. They're, they're talking junk already. So we're ready to go out there and uh, show them show them what the deal is. Before we get to the big long run, you were down there on special teams a lot tonight. How much pride do you take in, in your kicking game play? Sure, uh, a lot of pride. Uh, usually that's all the reps I get. So when I go in, I go as hard as I can go and. Hopefully it shows on the film, and I guess it did. Talk about your big long run in the fourth quarter. Well, all I know is I seen the hole and I hit it, and I had great blocking right there. And then, you know, unfortunately I stepped out, but it's all right. <laughs> and then you got the touchdown anyway. That had to feel pretty good. Yes, sir, it was great. A great feeling to get in the end zone tonight. So with their victory tonight over Lincoln, 82 to nothing, the Wofford Terriers go to 2-0 and on the season. Quick note about the 82 points, second most scored in a Wofford game in history. Previously, Wofford back in the 40s had beaten Piedmont College 83 to 13. Now the Terriers turn their attention to Southern Conference play opening next Saturday night. Wofford will be at home at Gibbs Stadium taking on the Western Carolina Catamounts. That'll be a 7 o'clock tip-off. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision. I'm Mark Hauser.